number one priority is to ensure a safe environment so that our students can learn and that our faculty can teach and that our staff can work. With that being said, one of the things we wanted to do today was a demonstration of the newest capability that the university will be bringing online to help us with these security uh, issues that we see. I'm not content to stand and say these things are happening across the country. Whether you're talking three students being stabbed in Iowa, or whether you're talking a professor uh, killing another employee at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, or whether you're talking a vice president in Missouri who, because of enormous stress, committed suicide. My job here at South Carolina State is to ensure that the best work environment, the best learning environment, is conducive for, maximum, for maximizing our students' our, uh, opportunities. So the demonstration we wanted to show today was a gun sniffing dog. We all are pretty familiar with dogs who can sniff bombs or drugs. You see them in the airport. One of the news capabilities is a gun sniffing dog. And it's very, very effective. I'm very familiar with the capabilities of this dog. This dog has been employed this type of dog has been employed at larger universities across the country. In fact, here in South Carolina, our larger universities already employ this capability. So we look forward to, within the next week now, having that dog come to campus, demonstrate to our students, to our faculty, to our staff, what this dog is capable of doing. And as I just spoke with all of our, all of our male students, this isn't, for me, this isn't about trying to make arrests. This is about keeping everybody safe. This is about this capability to serve a deterrent so that no one gets arrested, so that no one goes to jail. We're here to provide an education to the young men and women who have chosen South Carolina State, and every single day, we're looking for new capabilities that will ensure that we can do that in a much safer environment.